Hello passionate learners. So today what are we taking? We are taking Toru Dat. Full name is Toru Lata Dat. She was born in the year 1856 and died in the year 1877. Which means she she was she died when she was aged 21 years, just like Keith who also died in the in an early age. She and her family converted to Christianity. She was a translator and a poet. She knew many languages and that includes Bengali, Sanskrit, English and French. Her death was because of consumption. Consumption means tuberculosis. Her poetry also has a romantic charm like Keats poetry. She is a she was a big follower of Keats. Major themes in her poems include loneliness, longing, patriotism and nostalgia. Now, moving forward to her volumes. Her first volume include A Chef Gleaned in French Fields which was published in the year 1876 it comprises of 165 lyrics it's a french poetry and translation by doru dat herself and some by her sister so she is the one who has translated this work and also by her sister very important edmund goose Edmund Goose wrote about this volume as a wonderful mixture of strength and weakness. You need to remember this point that Edmund Goose was the one who criticized or commented on Toru Dat many a many a times. Next we'll be moving forward. We have Ancient Ballads and Legends of Hindustan which was published in the year 1882. Edmund Goose wrote an introductory memoir for this collection. It was published posthumously which means after her death. It's it's Keatsian in pace which means it it follows the style of Keats. She uses Indian myth and legends. Her famous poems include A Sea of Foliage, The Lotus, Sita and everyone knows our Casuarina tree. Her novels include a French novel pronounced as Le Journal de Mademoiselle. It's a first novel in French by an Indian writer. Her second novel include Bianca or the Young Spanish Maiden. It's a non-finished novel in English. It is thought to be her first novel in English by an Indian women writer. It's a first novel in English by an Indian women writer. This is very important. Next we have our Casuarina Tree. It was published in the volume Ancient Ballads and Legends Legends of Hindustan published in the year 1881. Casuarina tree itself represents the speaker's childhood it also symbolizes speaker's homeland india and it helps her remember the pleasant memories of her country the poet recalls her beautiful child days with her sister and brother the name of the sister is aru and the name of the brother is abju the opening line of the poem is like a huge python winding round and round and the closing line is may love defend thee from oblivion scars moving next moving next to the next poem that is the lotus it's a beautiful poem it's a sonnet consisting of 14 lines the lotus represents the indian culture and religion the poet is portraying the hindu religion as the one that is superior to all others how how the poet is portraying the hindu religion here because the poem shows a rivalry between the lily and rose there were it's a poem in which there was a rivalry there was a battle between lily and rose but the queen flora the queen flora announced that lotus is the best flower and as we know, we all know in the indian culture we give a major importance to lotus which means which signifies that toru dad is, is giving preference to the hindu culture and that is why she says that she says that hindu religion is the superior of all the opening line of the uh, poem is love came to flora asking for a flower that would of flowers be undisputed queen the lily and the rose and the closing line is and flora gave the lotus rose i died rose red died and lily white the queenliest flower that blows so here who became the queen who is called the best flower that is the lotus which represents our hindu religion next we have a major list of poems by toru dat the first is savitri next we have sita which is very important it's a poet's affection for indian myth as well as her sensitivity to women suffering and victimization even in ancient times her her other poems include urvashi uma dhruv 
Sindhu, Prahlad, Bharat. These are all minor poems. Major poems, Sita, Lakshman. Lakshman is also a major poem of Turudat, which, which, uh, which focuses on faith and helplessness of Lakshman. Here also, Edmund Goode say, Edmund Goose says, there is nothing glass menagerie like about her poetry. Edmund Goose may, was a major critic of Torudat poems. So what are the questions which came in the examination related to Torudat? The first, which was very easy, everyone. Well, who is the author of the poem, Our Casuarina Tree? And as and everyone knows, that is our Torudat. Next, we have choose the chronology sequence. So first, it's D. The answer is D. We have Toru Dutt first. Next, we have Saroshni Naidu, born in the year 1879. Next, we have Kamla Das. She was born in the year 1934. And next, we have Meena Alexander. She was born in the year 1951. It's, a, it's an additional information that Ramesh Chandra Dutt. Ramesh Chandra Dutt famous for what? Just comment down below. He was the cousin of Toru Dutt, who translated... Sanskrit epic Ramayan and Mahabharat into English as I also mentioned in the last video. Thank you everyone. Hope you like the video. Thank you. Keep learning.